Renee, it's really good to be here today with you. I remember it wasn't that long ago. Well, it's, it's been a few months. I think we talked last September and we were really announcing the, the, where we're going to be today, where, how we're making huge investments together, how we're bringing the Ampere A1 OCI compute instance uh, to the Oracle Cloud. I know you and your team have been working very hard and you know, I've seen all of the, the great work that you've put out and the, the hardware spec reviews on Anantech and all of that. ARM has been something that we've been talking about in the industry for what feels like decades at this point. A decade but, at least, for sure. Right, so, but we're here now and I've actually used this stuff and it seems like maybe you guys have used it once or twice. It seems like it's real now. Why is it real now? Why, why is now the inflection point? That's an excellent question. I think um, a couple of things happened simultaneously that created the right, if you will, perfect storm. Um, we had the combination of excellent external fabrication capability um, in the seven nanometer process at TSMC, which was leading edge, which gave enough performance to really build a leading edge processor. And let's face it, the cloud and OCI require leading edge to get, to get what customers demand. And then the other thing that happened is ARM as an architecture has grown up. And over the course of the decade, it's gone from being something that people used for microcontrollers and then grew into cell phones and even into um, mobile devices. And now with Ampere, I think we've gotten to the point where we have enough power enough performance, and the ecosystem is ready. Meaning the software has come along to the point where literally it just works. Linux works, all containers work, you know, all the middleware you'd expect, Java, all of that needs to just turn on and happen, or a customer like Oracle in the OCI cloud can't deploy it. And so, you know, the combination of some external factors in addition with the environment and the ecosystem being ready and a, a design company like Ampere coming along and making the most of it. You mentioned earlier the ecosystem and you talked about how, you know, things are at the point now where they just work. You boot up, you have the, the operating system, you have the development tools you would expect. Something that um, we're really trying to work on here at Oracle, and I know you're doing as well, is it's now that we have that foundation, how do we get everyone to make sure all of their software runs on ARM, and more importantly, the Ampere Ultra A1 instance uh, at OCI? You know, what advice do you give, say, uh, a random developer on an open source project, or uh, you know, someone who works at a large company, what advice do you give them on how to take advantage of ARM and make sure that their software ports seamlessly? Yeah, I think the first thing I would say to them is the Oracle A1 instance, you know, with Ampere, the free tier is such a great offering. I couldn't be more excited about that because we all know that experimentation and getting started with something that you can try before you buy is the way developers get excited about new platforms. In the old days, we used to have to ship a million platforms to people and convince them to you know, work on their software and get excited about the machine. Now they can try it for free at OCI, at the Oracle Cloud. And so for me, having you know, the Ampere instances at Oracle is a breakthrough for developers. They can get started today. The Dev Cloud is there. Everything that they need to try it's free. They don't have to go get somebody's approval or use their credit card. So I would say, you know what? You should get on board. And by the way, a lot of developers in their personal life or in their prior life or whatever are actually ARM developers. There are more ARM developers in the ecosystem than there are other platform developers, you know, just given the plethora of applications that are on cell phones, that gaming and the cloud, all sorts of stuff. So the ability to go and work on, you know, enterprise class problems, if you will, in, in an ARM ecosystem on the cloud is kind of new news and it's exciting. Well, Renee, I, I really appreciate you being here today. I am very thankful for all of the work that you and your team have done. I'm glad for our uh, deep and close partnership, and I'm super excited to see where we go in the future. Um, you know, you, you and the team have done outstanding work. We could not be doing this without you, and the Ampere Ultra A1 instance on OCI, I think, is the coolest thing we've done in a long time. Well, thank you for that. We are super excited about it as well. And we're equally thankful to you, to Oracle, to the cloud team. You guys certainly uh, 
put us through our paces and help us get better every generation. So thank you for that.